Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create a autocomplete text box in PHP from remote database of MySQL. For this example, I am using Notepad++ and in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML code. Let's save this file. We will check the designing part, how it looks on the browser. And here is the output of the designing code of HTML. Notice here in the URL hostandservers.com is my real domain. I am showing this example on my real domain. Before creating a PHP code for autocomplete text box, let's log into my GoDaddy database account. We will check the table and the column names. I just logged into my PHP my admin remote database of GoDaddy. My SQL DB is my user database and in the table section for this example I am choosing two students and I browse this two students table which contains five records Charan, Jack, Kumar, Ben and Chris. Let's flip over to my PHP code. We will write the code for auto text box control. Now in this PHP code between the body I am adding from control method is equal to Post action and closing from control of the horizontal line, enter name, input type, text, ID is equals to name. After adding the input text box, now I will create a new PHP file to connect my remote database to fetch the data into text box control. Let's add new, con new PHP code. PHP, I am closing this PHP. Dollar MySQLI is equal to MySQLI underscore connect method which takes four parameters one is a local host host name username data password the last one is the database name usually when we are connecting to the local database we'll write the local database here but here in this example i'm using remote database so i have to write the ip address of my database connection which is 182. Username, password, and the database name is MySQL DB. Notice here the second and third parameter username and password. I am not mentioning my real username and password just for the security reasons i am not providing here my real credentials but at the time of uploading this page on my remote database on my remote server i will change into my real credentials so or die if it's failed to connect database error dollar get data variable is equal to dollar underscore get I am using the term keyword which is in the small letters term dollar query is equal to dollar my SQLI query SQL statement is select column name is the first name from two students table name is where first name like I'm giving the condition percentage percentage double quotes dot dot dollar get data 
this one column while dollar row is equals to dollar query fetch underscore method dollar data had a is equals to dollar row I'm giving my column name which is a first name echo echo json underscore encode method data I'm saving this file php autocomplete dot php save go to the designing part now in this designing part at between the header section after the title I'm adding jQuery CDN links these are the very important after adding the CDN links I'm creating a script script closing the script dollar function dollar between the double quotes I'm adding the input text box ID you must have to prefix with hash dot autocomplete method source column within the single quotes the source is php autocomplete the file name php hyphen to complete dot php that's it let's save this file we'll check the final results on the browser i'm reloading the browser and, he and here we got a text box content before enter the text let's check the database suppose if a user enter j the jack name will be appear in the auto in the autocomplete box let's get back to the browser when i enter j see here jack if i enter b the ben is here if i enter c Sharon Jack Chris. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video, and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.